and for the translation. So we can move the focal point and using this we can effectively kind of fake lighting from any point in 3D space uh, without the performance cost of fong lighting or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add an inner glow. So we've just added a little bit of an inner glow up here um, and that kind of just makes the lighting pop a little bit more. And then finally we do an outer glow uh, and we fade it based on opposite lighting to the inner glow. So you're only going to see the outer glow uh, on the dark side as if the light's coming from behind and hitting the atmosphere and you're not going to really see it very much on the light side of the planet. Um, and then we have textures. So we've got a texture for a color map. Uh, we have a dark side texture which is basically the same as the light side one except we've got uh, lights on. And then finally we have a cloud map uh, which we overlay on top and uh, spin it at a slightly faster rate. Uh, the geometry is a sphere using flash 10 draw triangles and, and just basically texture mapping that sphere. Uh, so we just basically create a sphere, uh, pop them into the vectors and then pass it into draw triangles. Uh, and then what we do is we do a compositing pass where we add on the shadow on top of that sphere. We add the inner glow and then finally the outer glow. And then we have our planet that is uh, texture mapped and we've got a little bit of shading to kind of give it more of a, a sphere look. Now it's not quite the, uh, the visual effect that we're going for and that's where the other spheres come into play. So we layer a dark map sphere uh, and we mask that based on the shadow. So wherever the shadow gradient was, that's where we allow the dark map to pass through and otherwise it's going to be the color map. This one's a little small but you can see it more on this side like Australia here has a little bit of the lights going on. Um, and as we come over uh, into North America, we're going to see the lights on. And as it passes into the light side of uh, the gradient, uh, we're going to lose those lights as they obviously wouldn't show from space. And finally, we composite on the cloud sphere and we blend that and have it rotating at a slightly faster rate. So all of these textures, uh, they came from JHT, uh, planetpixelemporium.com. Uh, he's got a, a ton of planet textures that you can kind of take. The uh, 4K by 4K ones you got to pay for for bandwidth reasons, uh, but the 1K by 1K textures, uh, or 1K by 500 pixels uh, textures, which are what these are, uh, they're free um, and you can, you can take them. And pretty much any planet demo you see anywhere online uh, usually uses these textures just because they're, they're really good. The downside though is that it's a, uh, a 2.1 meg download and uh, that's just for this one planet. Uh, 